we had never had anything about slavery, Underground Railroad in our curriculum at all. Third grade, Norris School in Southampton. And so the idea was how are we gonna put this into our curriculum? Where does it really belong? And what do we start with? Well, we had been talking about um, the revolution. And so I took Crispus Attucks and found a story about him. And we found out that he was on, oh yeah, there's a next <laughs> book. He was on a whaling ship, escaped that way. And that kind of brought us, that's our first book that we started with, and that led us into this. But before I even started with this, I asked the students, if you were, what do you look like? Write a description of what you look like. So they wrote a one-page description of what they look like. And then on the back, after they were done that, I said, okay, now if you had to disguise yourself, what would you do and how would you disguise yourself? One little boy immediately wrote, I paint myself blue. And we kind of got a chuckle about that one. He said, well, that, that's great. Nobody would know who you were under there, but it's also something you would stand out more than anyone else. And I said, if you were trying to disguise yourself so no one would recognize you, then you'd have to think again. And um, that brought some other thoughts, and children took their papers back and, and did another idea. Some of them put wigs on or changed the color of their hair. and all. It was fun, lots of fun, so we shared that. And we did a play on um, Aunt Harriet from Harriet, when we read Harriet Tubman's story. And then the students wrote. So I did, actually did a lot of writing pieces with my students following the literature, um, comparing the movie with the book sort of thing. Um, so they had a ball doing their theater. And I do have worked with the music teacher. And they did a little performance for the mm. second graders. Oh. starting this, my whole idea was to just talk about the Underground Railroad, but you can't just talk about the Underground Railroad. <laughs> and they have no idea what it meant. Um, they've never heard about slavery, some of them, before I did a pre-assessment uh, for simple questions, and a lot of them just said, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know on the questions I asked. What is the Underground Railroad? What are slaves? They had no idea. So by the time we were done, we were talking about the Underground there were so many questions, and one book led to another, and it just got bigger and bigger and more. Out of, out of control, I guess. <laughs> but I did have them do a booklet, a creative booklet on the end, an ABC of the Underground Railroad. And one of my favorite is a little girl that has such a hard time learning. And she is um, you know, a, a disabled child. And she wrote this about K for kidnapped. K for kid is for kidnapped slaves, all tied up in rope or chains, kidnapped kids, moms and dads, kidnapped and taken away on a ship where slaves are crowded nowhere to move, just tied and crowded on a big ship. Oh, and I thought that really came from her heart. She really understood what I was trying to get across, that it was such a difficult, difficult time for them. Uh, one of my goals was really to find out where the Underground Railroad came through the town of Southampton. And um, we, we are set up for a field trip next week to the local historic society. And uh, we have the older homes, as well as the cemetery that we're going to be visiting. So I took brought a few pictures of the cemetery, mm. um, which was established in 1738. Mm. And some of the older homes that do have, the historical homes, do have dates on them. So we're heading there next week for our final culmination of the unit. And we have questions all set up for who, who had um, a home that, that hid runaway slaves, and we were expecting to get some good answers. I've been asking the adults around, and of course, the janitor and other people have yeah. <laughs> their comments, but he doesn't live in the, in the area, so for him to say, oh, my daughter's home had runaway slaves, and, and I said, well, how did you know that? Well, we, there was a panel up in the attic, and they found little shoes and things behind oh, the panel. Oh, wow. Cool. And I thought, well, that's great, but we're not in Southampton. <laughs> So we're hoping right. to get some better um, responses about our local area. And of course, many people did not say theirs was a haven for underground slave. No one wanted to know. They didn't want to disclose that information. So it's all by hearsay. We have a town history, but no one wrote anything down mm -hmm. about that. So we're looking forward to some interesting right. results of our visit next yeah. week. Well, thank you.